Hello everyone, I welcome you to the Climate Connect webinar on India's Perform, Achieve and Trade Mechanism. Firstly, I would like to tell you more about Climate Connect. We are a specialist news and data provider in the emerging post-2012 environmental markets. We have offices around the world. In the US, we are based in Kentucky. In Europe, we are based in London. And in Asia, we are based in Beijing and New Delhi. Our expertise in the PAT scheme. We regularly publish various news stories and updates in the Indian PAT scheme, some of which are listed here. We organized a conclave on the energy efficiency and renewable energy markets in India at Raipur on 14th April 2011. We cover the PAT scheme in our India Environmental Certificates Highlights Weekly Report. Structure of the presentation. We'll start with the background of the PAT scheme. Then we'll move on to the introduction to the scheme. Evaluation of baseline, targets and energy savings. Next will be energy saving certificates and the trading mechanism. And finally, the latest updates on the scheme status. Through the National Mission on Enhanced Energy Efficiency, the Ministry of Power and Bureau of Energy Efficiency formulated the PAT mechanism. Introduction to the Perform, Achieve and Trade Scheme. It is a market-based mechanism to enhance cost effectiveness of measures which improve energy efficiency. The scheme is applicable to large energy in intensive industries called designated consumers as per the Energy Conservation Act of 2001. It has a provision of issuance of energy saving certificates or ESERTs that can be traded on special trading platforms like power exchanges. The phases of the BAT scheme. Energy saving targets will be set by March 2011. The designated consumers will have to achieve these targets between April 2011 and March 2014. Monitoring and verification will take place from April 2012. Trading of energy saving certificates will start after the monitoring and verification phase is over. Given here are the threshold energy consumption data for units in various industrial sectors. Any entity consuming energy more than this threshold in a year will be covered under the PAT scheme. Location of the designated consumers. The states with the highest number of designated consumers are Tamil Nadu with 65 DCs, Maharashtra with 52 DCs, Chhattisgarh with 56 DCs and Gujarat with 55 DCs. Evaluation of baseline and targets. Baseline energy consumption evaluation will be done on the basis of reported energy consumption data for the last five years, that is from financial year 2006 to financial year 2010. It will also take into account the capacity utilization factor. For the final baseline energy consumption figure, automatic average will be used a wide bandwidth of specific energy consumption is expected within an industrial sector. The specific energy consumption based on gate to gate concept is defined as the total energy input to the plant boundary per unit of quantity of product. Targets will be to reduce energy consumption by a fixed percentage of the sector's baseline energy consumption. 
the overall scheme target is to reduce energy consumption by 10 million tons of oil equivalent assessment of energy saved at the end of three years of compliance will be based on the difference in the specific energy consumption of the base year and the specific energy consumption of the target year this will be evaluated by designated energy auditors they will also conduct the baseline energy audits and review of the BAT assessment documents. Issuance of energy saving certificates. The issue, issuance will be done by a central registry equivalent to the excess reductions from the baseline in the target year. The value of each ESET is expected to be closely linked to the primary primary energy mix in India. Trading can be done only between the designated consumers and the demand is likely to come from the DCs which fail to attain their targets. Trading can be done on the power exchanges, Indian Energy Exchange and Power Exchange of India. The proposed ESERT trading mechanism the Bureau of Energy Efficiency will unveil an internet-based tool called PATNET which will act as a communication tool as well as an information repository. The PATNET will have data, reports submitted by DCs, state designated agencies. It will have assessment reports by designated energy auditors. It will have trading information from the two power exchanges. It will also act as a central registry for the ESERTs. The Bureau of Energy Efficiency can notify the stakeholders about the latest developments through the PATNET. Impact of the PAT scheme on energy scenario. The saving in the monetary terms is expected to be the highest in the thermal power sector, which is expected to save up to 22,500 crore by financial year 2014 while the iron and steel sector can save up to 5,000 crore. The latest updates on the PAT scheme status. The Bureau of Energy Efficiency is actively engaged in drafting the final resolution document for the scheme. Possibility of modifications in the target setting methodologies discussed with the eight industrial sectors and their stakeholders through various workshops that were organized by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency over the last few months. The revised list of designated consumers has been sent by the Bureau to Ministry of Power and Ministry of Law and Justice. The original figure of 714 designated consumers is likely to be required revised to less than 500 and the largest number of reductions are expected from the textile sector. Thank you. You may send in your queries at info at climate-connect.co.uk.